guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, uh, my plan was to make a quick update video for you guys, showing you what we've built so far and what we've done because I haven't done a video like that in a while. And we were all ready to film. I set everything up and I got dressed and everything. And at the corner of my eye, I saw a dog run by. I was like, oh, I wonder if it's a coyote or a dog. So me and Jen went look and the dog was going from house to house, very dirty looking. So it's probably run away. So we went and caught it. Actually, you said, oh my God, is that a coyote? Oh my God, is that a coyote? Yeah, <laughs> yeah so we found this beautiful guy over here. He's very friendly. He's kind of skinny, kind of dirty. Um, we think he is pretty young, but uh, we called animal control and actually gave us an address of his possible owners. And apparently he always gets out. The kids always let him out. They forget to lock the yard or something. So. We're gonna walk him there and see if he belongs there. But I really wanna take him. He's so sweet. I know, I can't He's so sure. sweet. He's very sweet and gentle and mellow and he knows commands and he's a sweet little dog. Aww. So we're gonna go take him to the address. It's a walkable distance from here. And if he does live there, then we'll leave it there and come back and I'll film the little update for you guys. Oh, I don't want to take him anywhere. It is so hot outside. I am sweating and I don't know if you can see that. The animal control called us, gave us his possible address. So we are walking him there. It's very close and give him back to the owners. I don't really don't want to because he's such a sweetheart and I want to keep him forever and take him on our adventure. But he's big and we have nowhere to keep him until we leave. Mm. And here's Jed on boosted boards and he has my boosted board because on the way back we're gonna ride boosted boards. And here's the sweetheart. I named him sweetheart because he's such a sweetheart. You know, sweetheart? He's such a sweetheart. He's kind of majestic. He's the way he walks. Yeah. Oh, he's beautiful. Beautiful sweetheart. Okay. I think we're almost there. It's literally like across the street from Jet's parents' house, so. <sighs> he's very well behaved. He knows how to walk on the leash. Look at that. Animal control told us that he tends to get out often because the kids forget to lock the yard. So definitely happened before. And I'm just glad we were able to catch him before he got hit by a car or something bad happened to him because he seems like a sweetheart. And I don't want to give him away, but it's okay. We're thinking of getting a little French bulldog later on in life. Well, not too late, but soon. Come here, sweetheart. Oh, where are you going? Come here. 8729. 8725. Come here, sweetie. Hold on a second. Take this stuff off. It definitely feels like it feels like he knows it. Yeah. It's your house, buddy. This is your house. Come here, sweetheart. I'm gonna name you sweetheart. Okay? Maybe they will let us come say hello to you before we leave. That would be nice. He likes you. We'll give him away to his owners. Apparently, he does it all the time. His kids live the side gate unlocked, and he just escapes and runs around for a while until somebody fights him or until he finds his way home. So, such a sweetheart. But I'm glad he didn't hit by a car or anything bad happened to him. So, we can say we saved the dog. Save today. The dog. We saved the dog today. So, now we're gonna head back to the house so I can show you a little update and show you what we've been building so far and all the good stuff. Okay guys, so we are back from giving the dog away even though I didn't want to give it away but we did it because we're good citizens and we're back here so I can show you what we've been working on. I know I haven't done a building video in a while, 
Um, so I just want to show you this because we're very proud of it. Um, I think it's our best build so far. And this is our little kitchen setup. So we built this for us. This is like a pantry type thing. We keep our food here. I have three shelves. And then this is like a little bedside table because our bed is right here. So I can put like my cell phone here. And then our fridge is going to go down there. And we build this little door to keep it locked. And then we open it. And then the fridge will slide out. And we, you know, the fridge is here. It opens on top. Then you slide it back. And you press this. I have to press it more. Like this. And then over here, we have our countertop of the sink. So we took a regular salad bowl and we cut a hole. It's not fully in yet because we still need to seal it. And then our faucet. And it goes like this, which is nice. It's like a regular house faucet. It goes this way too. Yeah, it goes that way. When it's well. actually bolted in, it doesn't, like the whole thing yeah. doesn't go just this way. So we decided to do a regular house one because it just looks nice. It's heavy duty um, and it's electric. We've got an electric pump which we're going to install so we don't have to like pump anything, which is nice. And then we did these doors and this is going to be the handles we're going to be using. They're going to go like this over here and then we're going to use like some sort of jumpy, um, some, what's it called? Uh, jumpy cord or whatever. Bungee. Bungee cord to tie it so it doesn't open. And then they open the doors. We haven't actually installed them yet. Ta-da! So we have these um, door hinges right here. So they'll keep the doors closed on their own. But once you fully open them, they'll stay open. And then they'll close on their own, which is nice. So our water setup is going to be here. And then over here, we're going to have our cooktop. So we'll just slide it out and put it on top to cook. Over here, we're going to install a little plastic container for our utensils. And then out here, we're going to have more storage for, like, more foods, I guess. And then over here, we have our garbage, which also slides out. It hasn't been installed yet. That's why it kind of moves. But once we actually bolt it, it's not going to do that. And let's go in the back. Oh, let's go on this side. On this side, we're going to have a little table that goes like this. So we have more counter space for cooking. And we're using this thing to attach it. You want to show us how those work? Yeah. How do they work? Oh, they're like this. So it's going to it's gonna be installed like this. And then it'll go like this. And it's going to stay up, stay open. And to close it, you'll just press this button and it goes down. Super heavy duty as well. Super nice. So with that, we'll have more counter space. And then on this side, we're going to have another door that opens like this. That way we can access the garbage and the foods and whatnot from outside. And we're also going to store some things like cleaning supplies there and whatnot. And uh, we're not putting a door on this side because we, um, we're not going to be able to open it from the outside because our two barn doors, the second one starts at about here. So if we put a door in here, we're not going to be able to open it. So that's why there is no door in here. And yeah, that's it. And the reason we're leaving it open too, so that way we can service the pump or the water. If anything happens, we have easy access to service it and fix if anything were to go wrong, which it won't, but it might. And yeah, so um, this is what we've been working on. I just wanted to give you guys a little update. You want to talk about the countertop? Oh yeah, for the countertop, we are... I'm uh, gonna be using this laminate. It's kind of kind of looks like a granite top. Um, people like the construction people who build kitchens, they use that. They put it on a piece of wood, and so like any house you go to, if they don't have a real granite countertop, they probably use this. So we got that. We broke it on the way here, but it's okay because we only need a little bit of that. So that's how what we're gonna do for the countertop, which is gonna be super nice looking, and yeah. And then after we finish this, um, we only have one more thing to do, and that should be it. Uh, we don't have much left. We just have to fill it, send it, and paint it, and bolt everything together. And I think that's done, right? Mm -hmm. And then wire up the pump. Wire, wire it and plumb it, yeah. Yeah, and I think that's it. So do you have anything to add, Jared? No. Yeah. So this is a little update. Um, if you have any questions or suggestions or 
whatever it might be, don't forget to leave a comment. And uh, yeah, I hope you really like this video. Don't forget to give me some likes. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon.